Isn't it very hot these days? Summer mm-hmm. heat with temperature hovering around 42, 43 yes, yes, too much. Uh, degree centigrade that is. And even night time temperature is quite high. 25, 30. So, yeah. yes. So, uh, we have to think of ways of cooling. And One of the best ways to at least wear light colored clothes. Light colored clothes. I mean, that's the least you can do. So, uh, in some ways, we keep our light colors and uh, lighter fabric, maybe. Yes, yes, should, yes. Should be Keeps you uh, cotton, relatively cotton cooler. And our little porous, and that, mm-hmm. is, that is good for cooling because the white fabric or the lighter color fabrics will not absorb that much uh, heat rays and yes reflect it back reflect it back white color reflects most reflects of the light most of the light that and, and heat also heat also correct light Definitely. and heat both yeah. but then why is it that you know if you go to desert areas if you see the rajasthani women wearing such bright dark colors it's why it's hot there maybe even hotter because it's a desert and it's a more dry so there they are wearing and if you go to the uh, Middle East countries, there also you will see them wearing all black robes. Oh, right. Right, law, right up to you know, full body robes they are wearing. So, don't they feel hot? Don't you think that's not appropriate? I think it also depends on the type of cloth, I guess. Cloth, yes. Yeah. Because even if you're wearing white yeah. and it's synthetic, you're not going to feel comfortable in that. That is going to be very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Because it does not allow any, you know, any yeah. exchange of air mm-hmm. like it is the, it cannot mm-hmm. leave the body, you know, all the heat that is trapped inside. It remains trapped inside. Yeah. So, so color may, is just not the factor. Fabric also decides. But then what is the reason that they are wearing black and they are wearing those full robes? The Middle Eastern Yes, pieces. Middle Eastern. And even in our country, yeah, yeah, as I said, in Rajasthan, wearing you robes, can say the, they are I wearing see, you know, dark yeah. black and red and colors like that. You are also wearing a dark red. So Maybe yeah. I did not put so, a lot so, of thought so into it. Yes, so that means that you are not feeling too hot in it. Yeah, I feel so comfortable. You are feeling comfortable. Yes, I do. So then why why is it? why What is it that is happening? So this is very interesting. Okay. If you think that what happens is that it is inside, if it's a loose robe. Generally, yes. It's a nice loose uh, flowing kind of a robe. Then it gets more heated up. And because it is heated up, what happens is that the hot air rises. So inside the robe, the hot air is rising up and there is more air rushing in from outside. It's a convection current that has been set up. Oh, wow. That literally makes sense. There's a convection current that set up. And if the fabric is porous, then it goes out. The right. exchange is possible. Yes, and that convection and this, current keeps this, them cooler. It keeps you cool. Wow. That's that's new information. And that's very interesting, actually. Yeah. And that, then there's also, don't forget that if black is absorbing more, black or dark colors, they're uh-huh. absorbing more. They are also radiating more. Definitely. If it is absorbing more, then only it is it can it radiate can, it more. It is radiating yeah. more as well. Mm-hmm. So, if it is getting heated up quickly, it also cools, cools down, down quickly. quickly. It also cools quickly. But does that also mean that if white color or light colors are better reflectors of light, that white color will also keep my body heat to myself? And that again... It, it, depend it on depends the on a number of factors. Mm. Yes. yes. The fabric and I'm sure yes. other that. So the temperature outside, outside, the humidity, the humidity wind yes. speed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So there are lots of factors on which uh, it depends what you are wearing. And that is why it is always recommended that you should wear cotton clothes because of it is so porous. It's change. Yeah. It is so porous. Mm-hmm. It allows that. So exchange. not wearing black in summers is not anything right it's you can wear I mean, black you can definitely no. wear it then yes. if it is no, you please depending yes, on the abs- but but then it should be a flowing dress. yeah i mean not too it should, much it should hugging allow, to my body yes, yeah. yes it should allow there should be space for that uh, current to be so in up. summers all the clothes should allow circulation yes not anything about black yes but the black will set up the convection current yeah other so colors will rather wear black <laughs> yes wow you can wear a black uh, skirt Oh, that will be very comfortable. Or a black sari, which mm. allows that. Hmm. But if you're wearing a tight black uh, that may not trousers be or, uh, you know, something which is tight at, the, at the your skin. feet. Yeah. yeah, at your feet, if it, it does not allow. 
Idea is to be. set the convection current. Yes, yes. Let that so be you, possible. Yes, give it that space. Hmm. And let the fabric be porous. Yeah, okay. I think the whole idea about how I'm going to dress up in summer changes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> it also depends, I think, upon uh, every person's body. How you react to heat. And how your body reacts to heat. I suppose that is also a very important factor hmm. because while discussing all this, you know, today these days I feel, uh, I feel quite, you know, it gives me a kick. I feel thrilled that because of social media, you can actually talk, speak to so many people yeah. across the world and, you know, even people whom you don't know. Correct, correct. So here I got a response. Uh, I had asked, uh, we were discussing this on social media about what to, what are the, what are the best clothes that one should be wearing because okay. I'll be doing a video on this. And a response that I got, I'll read it out. Okay. I'll read it out for you. It says that I got a heat stroke in the mountains once because I was made to wear a breathable head covering against the sun. But it was not breathable enough. And then, then this person also writes, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so uh, then I asked, where are you from? Which country? Mm -hmm. And the answer that I get, I'll read that out also. It says that I'm Russian. Okay. And this happened in the Urals about 13 years ago. It wasn't even that hot. And not wearing anything in the sun is something that is quite rare. Hmm. People generally cover it. Generally cover it. Cover their heads. I know about my body not being able to handle any clothes on the head in the sun. But most people are actually okay with it. And it's better for them. And this person goes on to say that you can say that someone with a very sweaty head recommends not to wear hats if the head is very sweaty. I was forced to put that headscarf on because it was a summer camp strip. Okay. And all summer camps require children to wear headwear in the sun. Okay. So it's definitely not about the color and uh, you know the temperature. But I'm really surprised that yeah. somebody gets a heat stroke even in the mountains. As you said earlier, it's the response of the body to the temperature or the surroundings. Yes. So it's definitely many things to be considered before we absolutely, decide on. Absolutely. But we do think that, you know, if we are going out in the sun, we should either uh, carry an umbrella or wear a hat. Yeah. But here is somebody who says that because the head is, you know, she got it's, a it's, stroke. So, it's so sweaty, she says, that the head is so sweaty that if you are covering it and the sweat is not evaporating, maybe that is the reason yeah. that uh, she got heat stroke. Scary.